Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of the Tim Dillon Show. I don't usually do this, but I have my attorney on Skype with me right now because this is a legal matter. I am being defamed and slandered um, by the New York Post. My attorney, Ray Kump, please, because this is, a you know, it's not a legal proceeding, but it's not not a legal proceeding. Please state your name and your law firm for the record. This is uh, Raymond uh, Gerard Kump. Uh, I represent uh, Wolf Spool uh, law, legal legal proceedings. Uh, it's a firm out of uh, Delaware, and I, I wanted to be known that we we will be seeking every legal remedy in this in this heinous, uh, egregious uh, affront of the truth. Uh, I am in c- contact with the Hague, uh, yes. also um, private contractors. This is uh, an affront to your livelihood to the, the basic tenants of, uh, I also, am I getting paid for this as, as a lawyer? I need, I need to get, Here's you know, the my, deal. I need Here's the deal. I need we want to catch everybody up to speed on this. Ben, can you, un- is your uh, iPad going to lock up every five minutes, five seconds? The New York post just wrote an article about a house I bought in the Hamptons. It is stem to stern, completely all lies and fabrications. Literally. I mean, we're, we're kidding. Ray's not really a lawyer, but... Not yet. That's true. That being said, this article is all lies, Ray. All I, of there's it. Not, there's not, almost not a single truth. You, you couldn't, if you were trying to create this information, yes. you wouldn't have this many lies in it. I don't know what purpose it serves to lie. I just hate lying like this. It's stupid. It says, comedian Tim Dillon slaps down $4 million for a Hampton spread. That is a headline of an article in the New York Post written by Jennifer Gould. The house was listed for $2.6 million. I bought the house for $2.55 million around there. There is... there's Chump change. I did not slap... No, it's a good amount of money, (laughs) but I did not slap down... Four million dollars. That's a lot. Well, you know what they're. You know what they're doing there. I don't know what they're doing. They're 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 ba- they're alluding to your cock. They're saying like you slapped it down like you're some fucking me too scumbag. That I have you know, a four. Down your- that I have a four inch cock. I'm slapping around <laughs> the Hamptons. But it's by the way. This is the title of the article. It's the headline. Yeah. The headline is comedian Tim Dillon slaps down four million. So let's take this line by line. Don't be surprised if you spot comedian podcast king, which again, stop. There's only one podcast king. We know who it is. Mark Maron. Now, (laughs) kidding. It's um, Adam Carolla. Kidding again. It's Ray. Um, This is gross. They compare me to uh, air to countercultural greats like George Carlin. No one has ever said that. The only thing is that I talk about society. So does he. He's the the greatest. Well, this I mean, look, George Carlin did on his deathbed kind of confer to you, like you know, right? A, a responsibility for like George, the movement. George Carlin so, would have loved houses in the Hamptons. That was his whole big thing, right? Real yeah. estate. Yeah. Um, recently closed on a three point nine million dollars Southampton home. Lie. Down right. from his four point five million dollar asking price. Lie. This is all lie. It's insane to me. The house is two point five million dollars. It's insane to lie about this. It. They then say also just in time Dylan for Memorial also, Day. Yeah, he goes. He owns homes in Beverly Hills and Austin, Texas. I do not own a house in Beverly Hills. Right. That's crazy. I don't own it. I would love to. I don't have twenty five million dollars. That is a lie. I do not own a home in Beverly Hills. I do own a home in Austin. Next on his list is Manhattan. That is not true. I have no plans to buy anything in Manhattan probably ever. You have told me on multiple occasions the method of which you would kill yourself before you lived in Manhattan. Yes. I'm not going back to Manhattan. Um, It also says that it's crazy they go... He completed a whirlwind comedy tour from France to Italy to all the major cities <laughs> in Australia. I did, have not ever performed comedy in France or Italy. <laughs> that was not on the tour at all. Like that, it's completely untrue. 
This article is basically Mad Libs. It's Mad Libs. It's just <laughs> fill in the blank. <laughs> it's he's slapping four millions of dollars that I don't have. He owns homes in Beverly Hill. It's a complete lie. I. It's trying to make me sound better, but it's all lies and fabrications. I he mean, started is, is with, this, where is where is the part of it that says I started comedy in two thousand eight? Oh, and the yeah. It, where is it? It's, is that uh, true? That's yeah. Started doing comedy in 2008 following the economic crisis. That's not true. I started right. doing it in 2010, late 2010, almost 2011. What I mean is that who, like, who does any of the fact checking? This is all fake. This is more egregious than the Iraq War, like, uh, you know, mis uh, information and and more damaging. Yeah, but no, it's the 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 idea here is that they just. Get a bunch of shit. They don't fact check it. My realtor called me and said, do you mind if your, your, your information got leaked to the New York Post that you bought this house? And I said, I, and she goes, I don't know how that happened. And I wanted to say, well, I have a guess. You called them and leaked it. That's my guess. Like every realtor ever leaks shit. I'm not nearly famous enough where anyone would give a shit about where I live. Who gives a fuck? So I said to her, I don't think anyone will care. If they got the info and they're printing a little dumb blurb, I don't really give a shit. Don't put my address in it, but I don't want a fucking article of lies. This is, uh, I mean, this isn't like a person who's trying to rebuild their career, right? She's a realtor that was really hot back in the day and now is been displaced by the Instagram set of probably younger, more you know, social media savvy uh, set of realtors. But she had a moment when she was number one. She was the first really famous realtor out there. And she's got a great relationship with the press. She's on TV all the time. And, you know, she did a great job with the house. But I don't know, is it her fault? Is she feeding the Post all this fake information? How was the Post getting this fake? Castro had a good run too, but, you know. What would you say? Fidel Castro had a good run also. He but, had you know. a great run. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> but, you know, look, I, I, is this her trying to spruce it up in her mind? Like, you know, like, all, all, you know, the fact, oh, he was in France and Italy, like some, some, like, a, like some carnival barker. Yeah, it does kind of read like they're trying to dress me up. They're like, he slapped four million after a tour Alitalia of comedy. He was in the Mediterranean <laughs> doing comedy on boats. Like, it, it's just so not researched and it's so weird. And I don't know what role she had in it. Other than I imagine that's how they found out, which is I'm every, surprised she didn't yeah. like say you went you like have a house in Ibiza. Yeah, why not say that I spent twenty million dollars on a house in the Hamptons after uh, performing for the Pope? Like right. I had a private audience with the Pope at, at Vatican City. It's as true as this article. This is uh, they I mean, used look, the it, worst it, picture. The worst, and Ben will put this picture up and it'll close up. It is the most disgusting photo I've ever seen. It's almost like you'd want, if you don't hate me already, you look at this photo and you go, I want him dead. Yeah, which which show is that from? I, I The Netflix thing I did maybe a couple of years ago. I don't even know, right? But they this shot it, you look like you look like you're like I'm like drunk or something in this, in this photo. <laughs> I look so disgusting, like you would hate. And by the way, they're showing a part of the Hamptons I don't live in. Yeah. I'm not near the beach. Like it's all like of it. You look like a dad in family court, like trying to like, look. I know I hit the kids. A I look much. like a dad in family court who's realizing he doesn't really want visitation. Right. He's going, what well, am I doing fair, this Josh. all for? <laughs> But it's like I just don't know how they can get away with like lying like this. Is that even is your is your house even in that shot? No. <laughs> the shot is of like fucking estates. Right. It's, it's like, like Meadow Lane. That's Billionaire Beach. It's not at all. What, what is this? What kind this of is, game is this? This this is uh, what what do they call that? The um, hypernormalization. This is them trying, you know, trying. It's like a Soviet level, you know, disinformation campaign just to create, uh, 
you know, chaos about you. Should we? Is, yeah. Yeah. What if Adam Curtis started his next documentary with, in 2022, <laughs> a comedian bought a house in Southampton. <laughs> for $4.5 million. For $4.5 million. It wasn't immediately clear then, but a chain of events had taken place. No, but I just don't know. Do I have any recourse? Can I sue anybody? I mean, this is all... Com this is complete insanity. I mean, look, you could definitely, uh, I mean, look, they, look, I don't think defamation suits uh, are typically ever won. They're Johnny hard to Depp win. may win one. He might get one. <laughs> well, right, but well, yeah, I mean, he's got a little different, uh, yeah, I mean, look, if we, if we, it would be nice if we got a six-week trial out of this. Can we do that? Will they cover it the same way as the Depp Heard trial? I don't, I don't I mean, think maybe. it's as exciting to people as Depp Heard. That's real juicy and real entertaining. What if I'm, I say? What if I say she hit me? The realtor. realtor? Yeah, I, I'm telling I'll go, you. Right, I'll go on the stand. I absolutely would uh, would love if you did that. Yeah, she I'd burst, love she put if a cigarette you did that. out of my face. Yeah, she, she called me. She said, "You know, you, you're not allowed in this house." Uh, <laughs> she made she made me uh, use you know go, go to the toilet in the street. <laughs> I'm really wondering how responsible is she for this and how responsible is the writer of the article? Who well, I mean, should I be look, angry at? Is there is there any there's no like board of journalism, right? Like there's no like ethics committee, there's no bar association, no, right? Like you can just clearly make not. stuff up. Clearly you can just make shit up. This is like worse than Shattered Glass, that movie where like yes. Hayden Christensen. This is like uh I just don't I, know why I mean, you just just print the real shit. Go, yeah, you bought a house for two and a half million bucks. Don't why go, wouldn't they call you? Why would they not? Why would they lie and go, oh, it's, he's $4 million. He's performing in France. He owns a house in Beverly Hills. None of this is true. It's not accurate. This isn't an expose. Like, my, Why would my the reporter parents, call my you? My parents are calling me. They're like, you own a house in Beverly Hills? I'm like, no, it's fake. <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm giving them more of a reason to hate me. They're like worried because it's like, you know, what during the mortgage days, I bought that house at foreclosed. It's like, these all these articles are like he owns seventeen houses. Everybody's like, yeah, he's gonna go down. They're like, oh, he's gonna burn. And it's like, yeah, it's untrue. I own a house in Austin that's under a million bucks, cheap house, and I bought this thing, and that's it. And then there's like this fucking insane idea that's going around. That the one thing is, I did dance to Polka with Snuffleupagus. On Sesame Street, that's the one fucking thing they got right. One thing they got right. I mean, look, uh, that's the. Do you even want that in the article? I mean, like, one of the things in the article to, to actually even get right is like, look, you, who cares? But like, I mean, is this person like? Are these things you told the uh, the realtor at some point? No, perhaps? no. Like, oh, I, I was in, I was in France, like you know, you know, for a visit. And like no, she thought, like, I don't think so. This is like when you talk to a decrepit grandmother. Yeah. And it's like, you know, what, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, you know, I've been doing, uh, you know, I, 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 are you the president of the company? It's like, no, I work in the mailroom, grandma. I like, mean, well, how does this work? Like, be the be the writer from the post. I'll be the realtor. Hi, um, is this Tim Dillon? No, this is his representative. Hi, we'd like to ask, uh, we, we have an article coming out about his house in the Hamptons, and we'd like to... You know, just uh, fact check a few things. Uh, sure. Did you know it, he's a billionaire? We did not know. Uh, we can we confirm? Is he friends with uh, Salomon Al Abdiz of Saudi Arabia? Do you know? Not only he's, is he friends, do you know that he is in line to the throne of Saudi Arabia? Very, very it's, good. It's uh, Mohammed bin Salman, and then him. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm just. I'm kind of pissed off that it's lies. I, I, I wanted to put out a video with you talking about it. You think I should go real scorched earth on these people, which maybe I should. I think look, I, 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 I'm saying the realtor. I would love to just tear into this person. Uh, and, you know, this is the idea. She thinks she's going to like rebuild her career on the back on your back. I with don't these know lies. if she's rebuilding her career. I think she has a fine career. No, I, well, not, well, not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is just the way they play the game. They leak shit, and it's lies. It's all lies. They just did it to Trevor Noah in L.A. It's lies. What did they say about him? I don't know. They lied about the price. They lie about everything. But they were right that he bites children, right? That was true. 
the thing about him biting children was a one-time thing where a mother <laughs> brought her child to, and said, please bite him. <laughs> and Trevor Noah uh, finally agreed to it for a picture, but Trevor bit too hard, and the kids right. started bleeding and screaming. But the mother, the mother thought that was a better picture, so she said, keep going, keep going. He was, it was in Penn Station, outside right. of where they do the orange, Julius. And, and Trevor got caught up in the moment. They go, keep going, keep going. So he kept biting, and the kid was squirming, and he was bleeding, and they took a photo. But again, it's not a big deal. But for, I'm just mad about the lies. No, you deserve better. We, I mean, look, I, I, I know the New York Post is Should like, Should we go you know, to every not- open house this woman does with bombs strapped to ourselves? No, I'm asking. I'm asking if we should go to every open house with bombs strapped to ourselves. I don't see how there's any other way to get So what about if justice? two guys that look like us walk to every open house and go, we used to live here? Because <laughs> that might just kill every deal. If me and you, let's say we stood outside every open house and said, we used to live here and we fucked in every room of this house. I, every I, I, inch of this I, I, house. I walk up to like the woman and I'm like, hey, I used to live here. I know it's a really good hiding place. <laughs> You go like this. You go like this. You look at her and you go, property like this. Listen, you go, property like this really keep you safe. <laughs> keep you safe and warm because it's scary out there. I still have the keys. <laughs> <laughs> My keys always work in this lock. Listen to me. <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't know what we should do, how to enact revenge. I mean, showing up to the open houses with bombs strapped to ourselves, telling people we used to live in the house and fuck there. Um, I thought about making you into this really high net worth buyer and trying right. to fake documents and pre-approvals. And then when the woman saw you, she would kill herself. Like she I mean, flies I, I, like a private jet to you. And then when you come out on the tarmac, she just decides none of it's worth it. And she takes her own life. I mean, I'm down. because I'll try to embezzle the money out of the situation myself. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get any money out of the situation. <laughs> I, it's just the like satisfaction I, <laughs> of a job well done. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about embezzling. I'm, uh, you know, I, I screwed the bank out of something. <laughs> Yes, well, there here's, there was, here's my whole thing. I'm just I'm just wondering how we can get back at these people in a legal names. way. Look, I mean, we got to name names and we have to document you know, and, and go after. I mean, what was I telling you in the car when you told me? Uh, burner. We got Burner, like a, like a, you know, like a foreign agent, you know? Like I, he's, yeah. <laughs> she's got to come in from the cold. What do they do to foreign he's, agents? I'm saying, you know, when we when we when we like leave a country, you know, uh, like in Vietnam, we had all the spies in Vietnam. Like, yeah, we burned all those agents. They, they all got they all got killed by the. What about if you make a complaint with the real estate board in New York saying she called you the N word? Would you do that? Hundred yeah. percent. And take it, it the happen. full. It, like, look, it, take it, it this the full, did it happen. Did so why wouldn't I say happen. that? She did yeah. say it to you, didn't she? No, she she said to me multiple times. She said, "You fat N word, uh, N word," yeah. in the open yeah. house. <laughs> Right. And it was unprovoked. She literally just walked up to you and said, you fat N-word. In front of a very nice black family, which uh, I, was, I was so embarrassed and on multiple levels. it was weird. Levels. They also started calling you the N-word. So yeah, it, was it, it, it just was became weird. a commotion. It was about, and the guy looked at you and he goes, it's about power. And, right. I, and it was very interesting. But <laughs> how do we do it? I mean, do we, I don't know. I mean, I think we, we need to make a, a document. I think we need to make a documentary. Yes. About this situation. And we're going to get the guy from, uh, from you know September nine eleven the September eleventh to New Pearl Harbor That's to right. help us with this perhaps. Yeah, I mean, should we just start today because it was a horrible tragedy where fourteen school students school students were killed? Should we prayers. donate a bunch of money in her name to the NRA and start tweeting at her? The NRA loves this realtor. That's golden. Yeah, no, That's yeah, not for a, sure. Like just today, like NRA loves Dolly. Today, should I start a, twi- a Twitter handle and her and her like you know as her and just start you know saying how can Zelensky we impersonate, is a coward? Can we impersonate? Can we impersonate? Yes, yes. Tweet Zelensky's a coward from her, but can we give her a fake Twitter handle where we tweet this quote? I don't care what happened in Texas. My rights are my rights. <laughs> And then just repeat, like, keep tweeting that. And then we'll tweet all her listings. Like, can we tweet, like, one of her listings? And then right after it, we'll tweet, like, QAnon stuff. And then, you know, lovely three-bedroom by Central Park. 
You have to get this gun out of my cold, dead pussy. <laughs> Am I overreacting here? No, I think you're underreacting. I think this needs to go federal. I think we need to, <laughs> you know, uh, international even. I mean, look, this is a person who has their hooks into all sorts of, uh, you know, little, little dirty pots. And we need to expose By the way, her. what if we're both served with lawsuits like tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, you, you, you two fat fucks don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> you're out of your depth. <laughs> she goes, I'll kill both of you myself. <laughs> <laughs> I sell condos to tyrants. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I text Vladimir Putin once a week. I'll have you both, I'll, I'll have you both killed. <laughs> That's very foreseeable. It's not completely impossible. Because what do they do? Otherwise, what do they do <laughs> except have that kind of poll where they have like Putin on speed dial? That's they, the only reason you would be a but successful. But you don't think they do this to the genocidal monsters too? You don't think there's some fucking guy in Saudi Arabia sitting around going, they say 80 million, I spent 65. Oh, no. She, she burned Chavez, I'm sure. Yeah, like it's... I'm sure they leak these people's information. The oligarchs are not right. happy with these people. <laughs> I, I I only killed three dozen people that day. <laughs> <laughs> the lies. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have makeup on because I just did a cool thing with Rick Rubin that'll be coming out. And uh, but as my attorney, you know, I think I think the courts are probably not the right way to handle it. There's got to be a way to handle it. That allows us, you know, to get creative. I think we can we convince her to do like the cinnamon challenge. He, he, hear me out. I tell her a friend of mine is dying of an incurable disease. He has a few weeks left to live. He just wants to see this listing you have on <laughs> Central Park. He's never looked out. Of, of, of a window on Central Park. And he just wants to look because maybe he used to live there and his family lost all their money, whatever. It doesn't matter. He just, for his dying wish, he just wants to look out this window one time and we get her to agree to it. And then you get up in the apartment and you start shitting everywhere <laughs> and start, rubbing your start, shit on the walls. I start acting like I'm, 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 I'm going to like anaphylactic shock. <laughs> I just start calling, I just start like like a whirling dervish through this like you, know, you get in there apartment. and you start going hell Satan. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I'm I'm up. I, I just don't like that everything about it's a lie. And I have people, my friends, family, calling me going, "Is this true? Is this true?" Is it? And I go, "It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's all wrong." I mean, the one thing they're supposed to do is like. Like a good salesman, like they remember the name of your kids, yeah, and like you know what your wife you know does for a living, and like the stuff that makes you feel like uh, right, like whatever, uh, like warm, and like oh, this person knows me, like those little like the Dale Carnegie crap, right? right. And like she's just like blurting this stuff. Yeah, I think he was in France. Uh, yeah, he, he fucks Nuffleupagus. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's dementia. I don't know if it's just a complete utter. Uh, no care for the truth, the doubling the price of the house. <laughs> like, right. what is this? She's she's just she's flexing. I don't know, you. man. It's a weird flex. I'm not famous yeah. like that, and no one gives a shit what I do. Right. So it's such a weird fucking article. Maybe they felt she might like not understand the internet. Like she thinks you're like Logan Paul famous. I don't know maybe. what. Maybe, <laughs> but maybe they think that if they don't lie about me, no one will care. So they just start lying. They're like, he's the biggest comedian in France, and he just spent nine million dollars on a boat in Southampton. It's like all lies. Right. He owns the Beverly Center. I mean, it's 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 just complete lies. It's unfortunate. And I appreciate you being here to help me correct the record. No, of course. I mean, you know, this is this is an affront that will not be uh, tolerated. Will not be stood. How long have we done, Ben? Here about uh, twenty five. Yeah, this is twenty five minutes. We're not going to go on too much longer. I mean, the reality is, we're, we we just wanted to correct the record. We've got a great episode coming out this week, and I appreciate it. We brainstorm some ways, and we'll figure out one of them that's appropriate. Can you not hear me? But no, yeah, I didn't know it was a question. Are you, are you, are you not going to respond at all? I didn't really, I, 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 responding at all. 
Well, no, I, 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 well okay. No, you're look, I, you're I, I, staring I, I, at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, you, you know what I want to do. I want to get. I want to get our hands dirty. I, <laughs> <laughs> you want a war. Yeah. You want an I Airbnb want, level lesbian Airbnb war. Did, look, did they ever screw you over again? No. That's. Well, I'm off Airbnb. Well, look, that's collateral damage. I know. But I'll tell you this. I get what you're saying. I'm unhappy. Right. I'm unhappy with this. Sunlight is the greatest disinfectant. That's right. So I think we need to leave her out in the... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say. It's look, a very, not, she's, no, a, no. she's a very well connected woman. So I, I don't know what she had to do with this. I, I am not. I don't know that it's her fault. Have you, if you, you haven't talked to her yet, have you? No, but I don't know if it's we her should, fault. We should have, we, let's call her right now. She's very good at her job. That'll be a legal thing. <laughs> that'll be illegal. I mean, right, Ben? Yeah, yeah that'll be absolute legal thing. You know. It'll be a legal thing for sure. Look, I'm just saying that you know, if, if, I, if I have my way, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be having more than one house in the Hamptons, you know, sooner rather than later. This I, is gonna go. This is gonna go be very very good for both of us. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to go on record right now. I have no idea what that means. I just hate that my friends and family, the few of them I have are calling me going, wait, what is all of this? And I'm like, they're like, did you lie to us? You said the price was this. I'm like, no, I didn't lie to you. They just make shit Why up. Why would you lie to them? Like, what are you, like, you care? Like, yeah, remember when they said Trump worked for Russia for two years and then reversed themselves on that? Like, they lie. <laughs> they make shit up. I don't know what to no, tell but, you. Like, no, but I'm saying your family, like, it's, it's just an insane, it's just so funny, like, your family, hey, are you lying about how much you spent? Like, what, fuck you. Like, you they don't just think I'm lying they about think. everything. They think I'm lying about everything. We have an article come out in the New York Post. People go, oh, yeah, he's lying. Right. He's a liar. And it's it's a complete fabricated article other than the fact that I bought a house in the Hamptons. But it's complete fabric. Everything's complete fabrication. I mean, I don't, I don't know how, you know, the New York Post. This was a uh, disaster, by the way. This yeah. whole entire process. Like, she was very good at negotiating the deal. You know, this woman. But the, I don't know what happened with this. I do, I'm do. i not happy about this. She's a great deal maker. But I'm really unhappy with this, for sure. And this is I the mean, worst PR since the O.J. Simpson trial. I mean, it's just it's lies. So lies are not good, right? People lying about you to make you look better or make you look worse. I don't know what this makes me look like. Like, no, I mean, it looks like I'm a, a member of the I'm a Rockefeller. It's crazy. This is the kind of thing that could bite you in the ass just because it's like it's public information. It's like it's, it's probably it wasn't a paper of record or whatever. The hell, I'm like, yeah. Now you try you're trying to like you know. You trying to get some kind of uh, work visa for like you well, know whatever it is. I mean, by the way, does the IRS or whoever not go? Right. You, you yeah. Know, like, what the fuck? You you bought this house? They go, oh well, it says here you spend this. I'm like, dude, it's two and a half million bucks. It's not right. four million. No, she's it's a house she, and it's nice, but it's not a spread. This idea, oh, planks four million down for Hampton spread. It's gross. Is it possible that she's using you as some kind of money laundering scheme? Um. Like she's no. trying. She's trying to, like she, she on her end. She's saying four point five million. <laughs> she's got these like you know, bricks of of heroin moving through your house. You know, some some kind of scheme like that. I don't know if we should immediately go to st accusing her of selling heroin. Well, I, well, we we didn't name names yet, so it's fine. <laughs> the, <laughs> the reality is this: <laughs> everybody in this world is litigious, Raymond. You know that. Like I, I'm just speculating on what possibly could be. Is, oh, is it possible article, she's actually. selling heroin? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Cump, where do the people find you if they want to find you? Please check if out they the Cump podcast. Find you. The, the Cump podcast is available on YouTube and wherever you get podcasts. It's hilarious. You can also check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com uh, slash Ray Cump. Uh, you can get an extra episode every week for five bucks a you week. You want to have a cigarette? No, can five you smoke, bucks a month. Can you smoke in your house? I cannot, no. It would be a problem. What, what, what do you mean? You live in a Brooklyn dump. I mean, I guess I could. I mean, there's, there's like fire uh, extinguishers in here. Although one time I did. Uh, they, don't work, Ray, a, they don't work. That's for show. 
That's not true, real. One, one time, like I, I had you live the, in the pot. Yeah, we, we almost burned down the kitchen and it didn't didn't go off. So, your apartment is what twenty thousand a month? That's nothing. <laughs> you live in you live in the financial district. You pay twenty thousand dollars a month, and you earn that money coaching gymnastics. Coaching. I, I but don't that's have that job the way. Anymore. No, I'm. I, this is the New York Post writer. Right. My foray into high society it ended very quickly. Yeah, I mean, this is a real, real rude awakening. Can't they just be honest? True. This is why we need a, a disinformation board, right? Um, perhaps. They disbanded that. Quick uh, question while I finish the cigarette. What do you think about the school shootings? I'm against it. I, I'm not, I don't support it. I think it's heinous. It's, hein it's a heinous crime. It uh, is horrible. I don't, I don't what's, 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 and like, it's just a, at this point, it's not even like, what are we going to do about answer. it? Let's do it. That's, that's, uh, look, I mean, the reality is that you, you'd like to say we're going to do something about it. I see people tweeting and they're like, you know, we're going to do something. And they just feel like, we, we, you know, it's just, it's just routine now, which is crazy. I mean, I had, I, I, should we even report them anymore? I was talking about this on my podcast last week. I was speculating. Eddie like, has a great joke. He goes, there are so many shootings, they bore me. <laughs> but should we even talk? Like, it's a bold idea. But, like, what if we just never reported them? Would, would, they, would they get out of people's system? That's a good that point, Ray. Thank you. Because I feel like at some level of even if we don't, like, we don't, we don't name them a lot anymore, like the people who do it. But like it's still like we name you, you want to get into the zeitgeist. We name them all. What do you mean we oh, don't do name we? them a lot? We name them all. I, I thought we stopped. I thought I thought they stopped printing their names. They, we name every one. Well, we shouldn't. We, and we should pretend it didn't happen. I know. It's I a just the Soviet guy who just style. shot all those people in Texas. I just followed him on TikTok. <laughs> Are they, is it good? He's not bad. Yeah. Follow. Him. I need to get on TikTok more. I'm kidding. I didn't follow him on TikTok. Everybody. <laughs> No, but like I mean, it's a problem. This is, is a like, special look, thing. It'll be out. Well, how long do you think it'll take Ben to put this out? Seven, eight days to correct <laughs> the record here. Take him seven, eight days. Well, the audio, the audio doesn't really sound good, man. Yeah, Jamie. He always because he's like Jamie and Joe. Well, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just fed up with the lies. Well, let's start some prayers. Go out to the, the families uh, affected by this article. Right. And, uh, that's right. That's right. I think it's the most pressing issue in the country today. And that's why. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it will be interesting. You, you would be people are going to see like a special edition of, of Tim Dillon show. And they're going to assume it's about one thing, but it's really about <laughs> clearing up this, this real estate article. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> what am I going to do with the shootings? I can't. I don't have any. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I got There's problems nothing, I mean, with, with, with realtors running their mouths. I can't get you know, involved with the, with, the, with the weapons industry. Yeah, no, that's, that's a little, it's a little too much to chew off. Is that the expression? No, it isn't. <laughs> Ray Crump, everyone, my attorney from, what was it? Woolworth? Where did you say you were from? Woolworth? <laughs> in the beginning. Wolf, I think it's said Wolfspool. Wolfspool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a word you can't even say. I'm from Wolfspool. It's like you're Amber Heard's third chair. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, it's not going well. Who we're bringing on? They're like, we brought on this guy from Wolf Spool. Let's listen to me. She's a dumb whore, but so is he. Uh, who are you, sir? Raymond Cup Esquire, Wolf Spool. I'm, I work with Wolf Spool Legal. Your, the name was Wolf Spool Legal Proceedings. It sounds like the the a part of a Primerica, which like literally they just exist to like rob people in like bad areas. They put these like fake financial centers with like brochures that are like debt is good, and like literally in the corner of their office there's something that says Wolf Spool Legal Proceedings, and you're just sitting sweating eating a blimpy sandwich, and someone walks in and they're like, I haven't seen my daughter in three years, and you're like, I can change that, buddy. Sit down. Ray Kump, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Don't tell your realtor shit. Good night.